What's up, YouTube? So I did three exercises for core that helps me with my leg tuck uh, and just a general strengthening of my core. You know, you need it in order to do a lot of the ACFT exercises. Three exercises are toe to bar, ab roll out, and briefcase carry 70 pound kettlebell. So for the kettlebell, it was five rounds down and back each arm, and then toe to bar, three sets, 10 reps, ab roll out from my knees, uh, three sets, 10 reps. Core is very important, we all know that. It's very important in weightlifting. It's gonna help with your, not only your leg tuck, but also the, uh, was it the carry on the sled drag carry portion and the three round deadlift, okay? And if you guys notice, starting with the ab rollout, I'm starting on my knees. I have the, the barbell is relatively close to me. And before I roll out, I make sure I, I don't take a deep breath, but kind of a neutral breath. So instead of, you know, take a deep breath in, roll out, it's more of a take a deep breath in, let a little, let a little air out, creating that thoracic pressure within my body, within my core, within my chest, uh, middle chest area, and then rolling out, exhaling as I'm getting closer to the starting position. Rolling out, rolling in, rolling out, rolling in, not taking the biggest deep breath, uh, focusing on keeping my body as straight as possible. Um, Oh wow, there's a line of peace in front of the red light. That's pretty cool. Um, and then coming back into the starting position and just kind of waiting like maybe two or three seconds until, you know, taking the next rep. And of course I did that 10 times, three reps. Uh, and then the next exercise, I did the toe to bar. With the toe to bar, you can tear up your shoulders if you don't keep your shoulders down and back. If you don't keep them tight, you're gonna tear your shoulders up doing these reps. So it's best to try to keep your shoulders, you know, in a locking position as long as possible. Keep your grip nice and firm and execute motion. And you gotta have some sort of rhythm. If you don't have rhythm, it leads me to believe two things. Your core is weak and you don't have coordination. In order to get either or, I mean, you have to have one or the other. You have to have coordination. Coordination is kind of like rhythm. You get into a rhythm with toe the bar, the exercise becomes a lot easier. But if you have a weak core, you know, it's gonna hard to, you know, bring your, bring your feet all the way up to the bar. If you don't have either, you know, blame your parents. So for the individuals who have either or, um, coordination, you know, kind of stuck in the swinging motion. If you can tell, if you can see, um, I think it's one of the, the, the last set, I start with a swinging motion first. I'm getting into a rhythm and then I'll swing my legs up to touch, uh, to touch the bar, to touch the bar, to touch the bar. And as I get halfway up, that's when I kind of squeeze my core to get in that last, uh, last part of the pull the bar. Okay, and then when I get halfway down, I kind of relax, squeeze my scap so I'm not destroying my shoulders, and then again, swing my feet forward, halfway up, squeeze my core, toe to bar, toe to bar, toe to bar. And then briefcase, the briefcase exercise, it's pretty simple, but the hardest part is actually doing it correctly. So when you're doing the suit, the uh, briefcase carry, you're not slumping over. What you're doing is, let's say for example, I have it in my dominant right hand, right? I want to squeeze the serratus right abdominal. I like to call it the nautilus because it looks like a nautilus on the side. So the kettlebell is in my right hand. I'm squeezing everything on that left side, remaining upright. It's pointless if you're slumping over. At that point, you just it's just ego. You just let, it, let the world know, hey, you know, I'm able to uh, briefcase carry your 70 pound kettlebell, but you're not getting nothing out of it, okay? So when you're carrying that kettlebell, keep upright, squeeze your core. Left side is gonna be the one that's gonna be really taxed, 
but just have your shoulders down and back, uh, squeeze your scap, and then walk with the briefcase. If it's too much, you know, uh, drop to a lesser, drop to a lesser weight. Okay, so down and back, down and back, down and back. I did that three times. I alternated hands when I start. Uh, as soon as I get to the, uh, the starting point. Okay, like I said, I'm I'm creating that pressure, having my shoulders down and back, not slumping over. You're not activating your left side. Okay, that left side nautilus going straight down. I don't know the exact you know muscle group, but you're doing it correctly, you know what it feels like, you know what you're looking for. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Please, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.